no feel mm -hmm. congratulations you guys have just released such an amazing film a click click bang to see one got bad whether right from the product from the show itself to leak a year for months just to make sure that ni cinema kali yeah. you guys the press release said that you guys made 2.5 million right just on that weekend yeah yeah how was that possible uh, Uh, well, it's quick math. 2,500 people came paying 1,000 more beats. So <laughs> how did you guys get those people to come? Because, I mean, we've, I, how did you guys get those people to come? It's a long story, but I'll try and summarize it. If, if I can give you a comparison, yeah. in Hollywood, when they launch a film, okay. for them to break even or to make money, we're going to launch in over 4,000 cinema halls across the world. Yes. Yeah? So the fact that we're... we're making money from just one, one. cinema hall in a, in endakukushu by the there's a whole new industry ya film yenye wasia wajai explore na inaweza to make ya do na inaweza anza to make economical sense What's up guys a very warm welcome to SPM Buzz this is a buzz with stars and my good name is Miss Kipinji. Now guys, I want to say a big thank you to our 100k subscribers. Thank you so much guys for subscribing. Yani, we are so thankful. Thank you for joining the family. And in case you have not subscribed just yet, you know what to do. Just head over pale YouTube already uko YouTube. Sindio? Hit that subscribe button and you join the family subscribed thank you for subscribing now when you see me here you know i'm hanging out with a star uyo mtu memulizia kwa comment section over and over again and i finally have him here today now he is the film brain i mean ukitaja film country you know he his name is already there he is the ceo of philly tv or rather feel it production. Sindio, let's call it Philip production. He is also a film director, he is a producer, he is a husband, and he is a dad as well. This is Philip Karanja. Super producer, super kelele, director. Kelele, kelele. Lakini mtu yangu ni comment panisha. Nimekutupanisha. Hapo hivi nilikuwa na join interview tu tunaongea Kiswahili mtu yangu. Ah, kizungu nimeacha hapo nje. Umeanza na kizungu ni katense. Thank you for coming through. Asante sana kwa kuninvite. Buzz with stars. Love that. Watu wamekuulizia feel. Kwa comments. Kila siku tulete feel sasa. Tulete feel sasa. Na si kuje kwa DM. Watu wanashindanga wananiuliza kwa comments huko kwa DM yangu imekauka mtu yangu hawakuji. Feel but lakini wacha tu ikauke kwa sababu sasa uko na mtu. Oh, yeah. Wacha tu ikauke tu hizo. Acha wacha ikao. Sawa. But for you know, when someone looks at you they they think you're a very yani you you're so serious every single time at a Achu unasema sasa unataka kuongea Kiswahili yako nini? When I look at you I feel like you're such a calm and collected person. Right. But when it's time to talk you can actually just talk. Let me ask you how do you describe yourself? Are you an extrovert? Are you an introvert? How do you describe your personality feel? Um I will describe myself as an ambivert. An ambivert okay. is a combination of an introvert and an extrovert. Yes. Um Yeah, I, I, I do love to keep to myself, but mm -hmm. at the same time, Pia, no man is an island. So, kuna time, Pia, pia mu, nini, mu thrive place, kuna wase, place, kuna kelele, Pia. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. But what, what side do you exercise more? Because sometimes, uneza kwa mali kuna watu, wengi wanaongea, lakini bado you still, you know, just come, umenyamaza. Uh, okay, then I guess I'm more introvert than extrovert. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think I think I would say that as well. Yeah. For sure. But but you can't fit kinyamaza tu sikiza watu. Hapo ndio si uta ideas mtu yangu. Alafu watu wasi mkinyamaza uko na akili zaidi. Hey, this strategy. This strategy mtu yangu. It goes sour. It goes sour. Mm -hmm. Now feel mm -hmm. congratulations. You guys have just released such an amazing film, a click click bang. Tayari kupanda. Stupigio show. La, la, la. 
hapa hapa left tuna chance tulipiga last weekend ndio ndio tunaenda kuambia kwa tumepenya ama tumeogelea and that is why he was my top pick for the strikers representing the Kenyan team in Norway msema Norway tunaingiana ndege hapa ngapi kama sultan sao if only i had the last say nenda brazil kuongezwa haga ama mara nne coaches nimetolewa nyama kwa mdomo kwenda huko mimi mondokea najua lazima nisurvive huko nje kasisi alafu situation yangu pale mtani tricky niliambi spite one kama hajakuja dialysis it's been 11 days this is weird but imagine mimi sitakujudge cheki bro unaweza ku audition fit sana kwa kikosi yako i'm killing this bitch as nakwambia i'm killing this bitch nitume hata cd yangu ati nitakuja nikuwekea to watch Kuliko mesiti kwa rasa. I know, I know you guys expected the kind of reception it has got and ama ninadanganya. Uh, um I say we put in the work. Okay. Uh so sisi wanga tubatishi mm -hmm. whether right from the product from the show itself to Likalia for months just to make sure that ni cinema kali. Yeah. Apart from that pia also the marketing and how to sell the venue pia tunikitu tulifanya for months tumekuwa tuki prepare actually for years for this moment so we are not super surprised that it happened but at the same time unajua unaweza plan na bado ziko se work out so we are very excited that we were able to sell out the venue you know on on two days uh, four screenings that has never happened again in this country we 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 got over 2500 people coming to watch the show mm -hmm. just on two days in one screen If if I can give you a comparison yeah. in Hollywood when they launch a film okay for them to break even or to make money wanga wana launch in over 4000 cinema halls across the world yes yeah so the fact that we are, we are making money from just one, one. cinema hall in a, in enda kukusho by the there is a whole new industry ya film yenye wasia wajai explore na inaweza to make ya do na inaweza anza to make economical sense So Katun is a fill up one cinema hall. Imagine to kafungo in 10 cinema halls across the country. That's a quite a huge making. Yeah, Now, yeah. And I saw you guys the press release said that you guys made 2.5 million right. just on that weekend. Yeah, yeah. How was that possible? I mean, I know guys came in about how was how did you guys get to that? Uh, uh, well, it's quick math. 2500 people came paying 1000 bob each. So how did you guys get those people to come? Because I mean, we I how did you guys get those people to come? It's a long story but I'll try and summarize it. Yes. So again, nimesema This is not a tea by accident. Mm -hmm. No, this is something we've done research uh, for for a long time. Tulianza back in 2018. Mm Hiyo -hmm. ndio time tulianza ku consider na Abel sana. This thing ya film. Mbona film hai work in Kenya? Yeah. And for a whole year we did research just on how to sell a film in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Manze tuliongea na wasi who oh, do easy movies like Sapere wanaika kwa pro box wanazunguka across the country mm -hmm. tulienda base flani modhuru man ase um by the king here always enjoy your place in exists yeah. na vile wame feature do well what a pirate movie mm -hmm. but um your place they had over 20 shops okay. and each shop on a day they will sell over 200 DVDs but it was mostly Nigerian films mm -hmm. Na walikuwa na tushop by the way so come up on ulizia movies so for us we knew kuna hiyo hanga ya Kenyan films Kenyan movies ni venye tu naweza sema kama Kenyan filmmakers we were just lazy we didn't want to do the work yeah. as a Kenyan filmmaker i want to do a film put it out there na hope it adds user mm -hmm. so um so with Abel tulikuwa okay before we shoot a film let's figure out how we are going to sell first yes. how we are going to market and sell the film Uh, because that was the biggest challenge then in the in the in in Kenya mm -hmm. yeah so one of the things una learn kwa biashara ni before you put out a product whatever product it is mm -hmm. you need a community una need kujua customers wako wako wapi so one of the strategies we employed was now let's be intentional and active on social media of course abel blew up more you know with his yeah. youtube channel yes. but for us 
si si social media zetu platform zetu anga ni biashara sisi uko like bring all these people in keep them engaged yeah. that's your first community those are your first customers mm -hmm. from there it grow organically okay. so we created our community next thing was how do we sell the the, the films to live man to lipigadi masimu china tutataka kujua niki ban kwa dvd na cost how much yes. tukona for real by the time your dvd land kenya moja ime to cost 147 shillings so yes. for me to make profit cuz a dvd maybe ni use sotano yeah it's like okay nani kenya ta buy dvd sotano <laughs> so now ni tafuta mse wa tech basi tunde online okay. platform uh -huh. yeah so imekuwa journey ya oh, from 2018 1920 20, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 5 years now okay. yeah so ndio asema wasewa naona tumejaza hall it's a day's effort it's a day's effort now it yeah. has been intentional for five years we've yeah. been building this yeah i mean so guys you you can see as in if you need to achieve this you need to put in the time and the effort and the patience oh yeah because oh, yeah. i mean Absolutely. five years is siki dogo dogo man siki dogo yeah and i feel you know looking at the film industry in kenya right now mm. i know you guys have cracked it at least mm. they crack size yes, you're, yes. Making it, you're making money out of it yeah you have seen film business has not thrive been thriving in kenya absolutely do you feel we have some of the regulations in kenya that are set up probably by the film commission i'm any lack of knowledge that is bringing people behind oh yeah uh, absolutely there's um so kenya is like one of the few countries in the world that to date you know film is something that started in 1901 but to date kenya hatuna a film policy yeah so there has been a film policy draft bill that has been in existence for 15 years but okay. in kenya film cinema in akanga new total so government yeah. never takes it I feel seriously like even art, as yeah, a whole. art as a whole exactly yeah. showbiz art as a whole um is is taken as a joke so it's something that has been pushed isainiwe so governor kama sai i think we only two weeks to have a new government mm -hmm. so if uhuru leaves pres um uh, the uh, leaves presidency yes. bila kusaini hiyo bill the next president who comes in tunaanza hiyo process tena it has to take another 10 years before he sign you so that for sure for sure has been our biggest challenge to okay. what a film policy uh, and having it in the constitution helps in a uh, guidelines yes. so if it's actors kuna the guidelines for you to work with a certain actor and then it could be linked to belong to the actors guild mm -hmm. So Mrs. Z pigia shigwa na ma hey, Amina to directly come through come through Z lazima ni go through the guild guild nikienda kwa guild wa shaka rates zao si si ezili patu work table na jisikia Z zikuna for main actor in your rate vitu kai hizo yes. so itasaidia sana ku streamline business second thing ni when it's a constitutional act then the government backs it up so mimi ka producer sign as enda kwa bank ni wambe ni azin party any loan ni by cameras mm -hmm. and they'll give me a loan because uh, this business is recognized it's in the constitution you know it's recognized so in case something goes wrong wanajua <laughs> nezendea a certain una body the regulations are kufata yes exactly mm -hmm. but as we are right now mtu yangu hata niingize bilioni kwa account ya fillet bank is in pay alone yeah because <laughs> i i won't need your substantial jew i mean and the do government hawana. doesn't recognize it. exactly exactly and that is so bad because yeah. we are a country that has really grown over the years of course of course and i, I that's bad jews in leona terence howard alikuwa uganda aki launch hey, you know? drone technology Pita Kenya manzana nda UG imagine but it's because Uganda the blow me set up yani for them anyone can come to that country and the president will meet them at uh, at the airport yeah. Kenya tuna maringo <laughs> Kenya tuna maringo so zile vitu tulikuwa tunauza to Hollywood zamani like we have beautiful sunsets we have the savanna we have the beach we have you puzilisha because all they yeah. need to do is send a one photographer or two here yeah. wakuje wapige picha hizo visa pale kwa airport eh yeah, piga tu picha mm -hmm. alafu warudi kwa studio zao wa shoot kwa green screen watumie ile picha kama background yeah. so we we need to now rethink how we market Kenya as a filming destination yeah. uh, so a lot of that has to do with the government because mm -hmm. uh, 
logistics have to be easier mm -hmm. so niki land to even niki lip your film permit niko na access ya kushoot anywhere yeah. itasaidia sana mm -hmm. um what's the other thing incentives kasa hii kenda south africa mm -hmm. wanakuanga na incentive if you spend 10 million dollars producing a film in south africa mm -hmm. the government gives you back 3 million dollars in cash oh yes. kama tax return yeah, exactly so kuna hiyo incentive so Imagine Hollywood producer ko twende Black, Black Panther to shoot wapi Kenya South Africa Kenya South Africa oh, ni do acha niende South Africa Of course So yeah it's, it's, it's a lot of knowledge <laughs> that we don't know about to be honest oh, yeah. because I feel like it's it's lack of knowledge Ju acha you are actors guild mm. Mimi I I didn't know that if you want to be an actor you have to pass by the actors guild na jua mimi nafa kwenda audition Exactly Exactly. Um unajua hiyo kitu ni raisi especially tusemeka hiyo policy pasiwe. And then just a few of the consistent producers in the country who do TV shows and 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 films. Unajua kama filo nikisema I will not work with an actor who's not in the actors guild. I'm yeah. tajua actors guild iko wapi. Mtakimbia. Sure. Yeah. Very true. Mm. I mean, and, and I'm glad that we can now, you know, sit down and have such conversations. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like there's someone who didn't know about it na mejua leo. Oh yeah, absolutely. Very absolutely. insightful. Thank now, you. Phil, I want to know, mm -hmm. I know you're a leader. Yeah. You, there's so many people who report to you, mm -hmm. who look up to you. Right. What kind of a leader would you describe yourself to be? Eh, so ali naweza eh. penda au niambie kuna vile zile leadership skills zako unajiambia yeah. if i don't run my business like this right. aitaenda vizuri True. if i don't tell people to do this and this mm -hmm. aitaenda vizuri because yeah. there is someone who is running a business somewhere right. else or intends to get into the mm -hmm. career that you in yeah. but they don't know how about to go about it what kind of a leader should i be, be. i think for me the one quality i decided to embody is me believe as a leader mm -hmm. you need to create an environment where the guy, the team you're working with can thrive okay. so that means by their leading is not being in your space sana mm -hmm. if i give miss kithinzi this particular show to run yes mimi natoka na naenda okay like it's all on you and and human beings will surprise you mm -hmm. so i am not um i want it to a helicopter <laughs> parents ama helicopter leaders yes, na kufuatilia kila mali no yes, no no micromanaging, micromanaging. and i i think i use that skill even when i'm directing on set like with the actors uh -huh. like we'll get on a scene on a set on a location and before i even give them uh, direction i'll just tell them you guys are just let me see what you guys have been rehearsing mm -hmm. and, and what you think of this scene mm -hmm. and most of the time i just use their creativity to so na naongeza tu hapa na hapa na hapa so I, yeah I we, I hope I am that leader. Okay. Uh, th the guys I work with will be best to tell me if I am. Yes. But I hope that's my own number one quality that I give you space to thrive. Yeah. Yeah. But but again you, you by the time you're giving someone space to thrive, right. you've already evaluated that person. Okay. You know they can thrive by themselves. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, life pia lazima kubali disappointment. It's yeah. part of it's part of leadership it's okay. part of growing yes. so failure is a very normal and natural uh -huh. thing so one of the things i'm very okay and comfortable with mm. is people letting me down okay. i've never had an issue with that. Yes. I, I mean it took me it took me a long yes. a long time but let me say money probably ukona potential flani yeah but if i micromanage you you will never i'll never see that potential you because you will always you. be doing what so kila yes. msema ni i have two options ni kuachilie umek blanda mm. mapema mapema mm -hmm. ni je vile tunasafishia hiyo blanda and how we we are going to work together or not work together yes. moving forward mm -hmm. or ni kuachilie uni surprise u surprise u surpass expectations zangu mm -hmm. and by surpassing my expectations ina maanisha company yangu ina grow faster for sure mm. and i feel like that is some of the things that most most people in top positions actually don't know because ni vizuri kuachilia tu mtu pia aonyeshane potential yake. Naweza sema to be very honest, uh mimi nilikuwa tu filmmaker. Yeah. Napenda kutengeneza sinema na TV shows. Yeah. Uh, and then when we decided to form a company and then I was appointed the CEO. CEO yes. I had to take a step back for like a whole year by the end. Two years actually. I I did not go on set to direct. I was like okay. 
I need now to learn what being a CEO is. And manze kuran biashara na kudirect cinema ni vitu mbili tofauti sana. So I knew how to direct films and TV shows. Uh -huh. I did not know how to run a company. And so there was so much I had to learn. Uh -huh. One of the things, honestly, honestly, uh -huh. for you to be a good leader, you, you genuinely have to be happy that your employees are winning. Simple. Okay. Yeah. So, manze, ukikam, umebai garimpia, manze na mimi ina nisumbua, that's a problem. That's a problem. You gen because if I want the best for you, mm -hmm. then I'm, I'm upgrading you to another level, and that way you'll give me more. You'll, sure. you'll give me value from to my company. Yeah. That's number one. Two, as a person, mm -hmm. you can't be a team leader na uko na issues zako. So you need to work on yourself, <laughs> yes. whether it's therapy or whatever. You, you know, you decide how to work on yourself, but. Um, Wanasimanga nika chupa ya maji. Najwe hiyo liquid unaweka kwa maji, it can only, it cannot go past the bottle top. Yeah, for sure. So for hiyo chupa, ndio hiyo grow to, lazimu extend your bottle top if it's possible. So then a lot of knowledge, like a team leader you have to study always, always. The more you learn, the more you earn. Okay, okay. And also learn things like financial management. I swear if you're a team leader, a CEO, and you're not good with your money, your company will struggle with money. Yeah. So by the being a team leader, a CEO, you actually have to work more on yourself than even mm -hmm. the company sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Key points to learn there, guys. <laughs> I mean, very, very important keys for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, Phil, I know you have brought in Smalls Munyoki, Michael right. Smalls Munyoki, as part of directing with you. Right. As compared to GLL, you were there just by yourself. Yeah. Now you brought in Michael Munyoki. Mm -hmm. I want to know how important is it to mentor or rather just bring in other people to get to run with you the business that you're running? Because we've seen other industries, what was the manga? Eh, Ule msania megru wata azeshi kamtu mkono, sijui ya nagru ingitu peke yake. How important is it? That's the thing about growth. If you're growing, then itafika 2.0 is fanya kila kitu. So I'm very aware of the fact that right now the number one skill I need to grow as a person and for feel it production is the skill of marketing and selling films. Right now, it's not my directing skill. Okay. So, and for us to grow this revenue stream, to need to be consistent and to produce uh, films, na mm -hmm. sustain. Na siyezi kwa niko set na direct na bado niko ukunja niki mix strategies za marketing na 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 kuget screens na kujua vile tuta screen cinema. It's impossible. So, I I am okay that right now in the phase of life I am in. My directing skills will not be growing as much. Okay. At the moment, it's my marketing and selling skills that will be growing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, because I need consistency, I need a team. Yes. So, whether I'm on set or not, I need a director. And one of the things we we were very truly agreeable ni at the moment, this dream yak was a film, mm -hmm. because it's a dream. Anyone who gets on board with us from the word go, Zuatutaiza Kualipa. So if we worked with you on GLL, if we've worked with you on Click Click Bug, you're going to be seeing all these spaces around. Okay. Yeah. And Smalls Alini show immediately to after GLL and I've been in the industry for over a decade. Okay. I've, I've, I've done all the roles I can, both acting and as a crew member. I want to transition to being a director. So mm. is it possible for me to shadow you? Mm -hmm. Like twenty kazi. Yeah. You know, that's the growth. This is because I wasn't able to pay you money financially uh, on, on Grand Little Lie, yes. this is how I can pay you. Always working with the director. Mm -hmm. And Smalls has been an AD for TV adverts for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Probably like 50% of the TV adverts you see in Kenya, Smalls had something to do with them. Wow, okay. So he's very visual. He knows how to direct. Because adverts are all about uh, beautiful cinematography. Yeah. So he's very good at that. He had very, he brought in these unique angles in filming that Mimo Nyata Singefikiria. So that's very insightful. And then also because he's an actor, 
and he's very easy to direct uh, artists. So yeah. Okay. At a, at a surprise, I say. Eh. I am very. Uh, I can't wait for the day at a kuapo kwa yoni ni directed by Michael Smalls. Peke yake. Peke yake. I mean, we can't wait. We yeah. can't wait. Smalls, if you're watching this, ujue tunangojea. Now, let's talk about Abel Mutua because, I mean, we cannot afford not to talk about him when you're here. Oh, yeah. You guys are like frat, to say my fraternal twins. Zara na shindwa mbona leo aja kuja na we. Abeli ni kama unakosea, eh? Si muna kwanga pamoja kila wakati. But now, mm -hmm. I want to know, Phil, how do you guys keep this relationship of yours how do you how are you guys what keeps you guys grounded new kosana ama inakuangaje how is your relationship like with abel manze first of all toxic masculinity kubali uite relationship uite <laughs> ubrave <laughs> eh hey, bana <laughs> relation but um of course you kosana uh -huh. sana uh, on 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 creative grounds yes neza sema I hope we were just lucky that tuli, first of all we have a very similar background in how we grew up. Yeah, me grow Kibera, I mean we grow Dandora, so to li grow to na yomta. Yes. Sisi wote tunapenda cinema. So I think you you two said yesana to kona the same vision na goals. So na semanga you two said yesana. Then yeah, personalities like then na sema tu kuda vitu mob tu we almost very similar and, uh -huh. and they and they and they help us but um yeah <laughs> it's and, and you know, i'm you. actually surprised because yeah. how you guys were able to mm -hmm. just keep that relationship because abel has been married for the longest time right. before you yes yes okay yeah how was it like mm -hmm. him being married mm -hmm. and you just being the bachelor at the time Triangle of bigger research. Okay, yes, all in Ingum. Nessa Samaji, but the Sisi are to Nanga life. For sure. Sisi Kazi to Nikazi. So, because of that, even when he was married, we never had an issue. The wife never had an issue with me. Okay. So most most of the time my wife ukuwa na issue ka beste yako ni ule mse. Bad influence. Eh, hey, ana, ana kupeleka shere, after that ana kupeleka place kuna madem, mm -hmm. nini. Mimi sasa abel na mpeleka kazi. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you complain about very that? Very true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, must, that must be very easy for sure. Yeah. Now, we have to talk about Kit. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kit. Phil, mm -hmm. I want to know what is the most impressive thing about your wife? Uh, the most impressive thing yes according to you her her, her self confidence uh -huh. i think that's the one thing i've really learned from her like yeah manzi yake wana idea you ruka anaenda anafanya kile anataka and mimi sikuwa na confidence to be very honest that's something i've had to teach myself mm -hmm. and it has really helped that i've been very close to her watching her how she moves so that's the one thing that really impresses me about her. Like yeah. her self-confidence is just on another level. Yeah. 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 And I mean, self-confidence is everything. Absolutely. Trust you, kia the rest are about to believe in you. Oh, yeah. Doing, absolutely. Sure. I, I have seen it work for her. Yeah. And the day I tried her way, it worked for me. Yeah. yeah. So I'm very intentional about the people I hang around. So wanasemanga, your network is your net worth. So. Yeah. And it's not just money-wise, it's it's even how mental habits and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I, I, when when I was growing up, I had self-esteem. I had issues with my self-esteem. And so I realized, me for sure, I had a soft life. Mm -hmm. So I did, I did to, to, to succeed out here. Yes. And for me to succeed and to be successful, I need to surround myself with winners. Mm -hmm. So I was very intentional with the people around me. So that's why Utona ni wasekama Abel, Njugush, Kate. And, and these are people, their self-confidence is just on another level. Like for them, they have an idea, they just jump and do it. For me, I will overthink. But hanging around them and seeing how they work. Yes. So they jump and now I become the guy when you up with you on a safety net. I'm like, okay, now I'll build systems for all of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, so and how it. were you able to bag Kate with with now you know you know with all the confidence she's oozing? Yeah. Now Kwapo 
how were you able to do it ama ni yesa alibambia naona ni kama una ni like ni aje how did you do that mtu yangu yeso ni ngumu i think yeye ndo anafaa jibu utamleta hapo umuulize ah so ni nayo niko nayo ah mtu yangu si nione hivi so ni so ni niko nayo mtu yangu eh okay hivyo ndo tutatwambia utatwambia vile ulienda ah to be very honest yeye ndo anaweza niambia sinasikia kama dem nyu kwa ngana box kadha alafu unachagua ni gani unataka kutoshea So mimi nilicheza tu kama mimi. Ndio akaamua. Yeye ndo akaamua. Okay. So now feel I'm interested to know how is it being a girl dad? Ah. Is is it is it something that you feel like eh udem ni tamrizaji? Is there any pressure? First of all, yeah, I don't because we have a son yes. and as in mwanaume ni mwanaume so ah, sin ma, ni maji. Uh-huh. Now getting a uh, a daughter yes my friend he may make me come soft <laughs> i don't know really? why oh yeah but you I, look like a soft person naturally feel mini gangster mtu yangu sidangani mini boy is not bad mini gangster but you want to say my own you wrong ah mini ah she go on wrong oh yeah 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 anyway um how has it been? i think the most and whether it's my daughter or or our son yes, yes. it's it's um ni melan something about children ni they are never taught mhm when they manga what's the what's the saying they say that um values are never taught okay. they are caught yes yeah so it doesn't matter how many times una cap down na mtu una mpitia usifanye hivi usifanye hivi no they observe they they look at you and what you do every day mm-hmm. and they follow that path. Okay. Uh, for example, I'll give an example. I try and work out as consistently as I can. Yeah. Um, recently nimeteki tu sanya main manze squeeze tu yuamka anaanza kupiga zoezi. Sijai mwambia ende gym, sijai ah ah yeye mwenyewe. So even now with my daughter I'll, I'll just be an example of what a good man should be. Uh-huh. And my hope is that even when now she grows older and she's out on her own when she starts interacting with the world she knows what a good man should be uh-huh. yeah and what values to look out for i mean and i know kids see everything mm. they see they oh, learn yeah. they take it up absolutely absolutely so by the way to make a sio story na kuwafunza ni wewe mwenyewe by the way na kuwatch every day every single day so how are you treating my mom uh-huh. so that's how men are supposed to treat women okay. Mm. Yeah. So if you are an abusive person to 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 your wife mm-hmm. then to yet at a grokijo that's the love language For so sure. chalia kini gonga ah hiyo ni normal hata madhe alikuwa na gongo unajua but akiona una treat madhake na love and respect then when she goes out there she won't take anything less than that yeah mm. okay But now you see he feel the people that now probably that are our age mates or even older than us that yeah. grew up in environments that were not mm-hmm. you know as good yeah. how would they go about this just to now make the best out of themselves because now they grew up watching this yeah. we we need to work on ourselves and yeah. i think um you know the one mistake nine, 99% of human beings don't actually take time yes to know themselves and work on on themselves mm-hmm. every one of us we have background and baggage kuna ile background uli grow yan uli grow nayo kuna ile baggage umebeba over the years yeah. if you're going into the, this new phase of being a parent i think it's very important that uji uji takam kutano mtu yangu uji takam kutano and work on yourself mm-hmm. cuz like like i've said with kids it's not about teaching them it's it's they they cut on to what they see. Okay. So some of the best parenting skill is actually working on yourself, not working on your kids, mm-hmm. working on yourself first. So come may grow in toxic homes and and yeah, all these other homes. First things first before you if you even start your own family, mm-hmm. if you can work on yourself, that that will be a the plus. Yeah, yeah, it will be a plus. Cuz shida hiyo ni if you don't work on yourself, then utachukua hizi trauma uli grow nazo, uzi transfer kwa mtu. Mtu hii azichukua transfer kwa mtu wake. So it's generation after yeah. generation after generation of, of toxic 
uh, homes. Yes, yeah. for sure. Mm. Let's work on ourselves, guys. Mtu asikia afikire, nimi mzai alikuwa hivi, ata mimi lazima ni kwe. No. Sometimes it's 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 not really working. Yeah. 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 Mm. You know, I feel I spoke to Sele mm. on an interview I did on with her on yeah. Buzzet Stars. Yes. Akaniambia feel ni ule msimu wenye anakukalisha ngatu chini, anakupea tu, anakuambia tu vitu. Mm-hmm. Unabaki ukijiuliza, "Eh, nafanya nini kwa life yangu? Eh, enye kuna vitu zenye nafaa kufanya." But mm. I want to know feel yeah. who sits you down. Mm-hmm. Wewe sasa. Mimi anakuambia enye feel you need to do this and this mtu yangu eh, abel ananga kesho ehe hey, muda mkamba kwa na pesa <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> wana hey. arrogance so abel is that one person will call out my bullshit yeah. the other person ni wife abel judy do cuz to me grown out so much it's like your siblings yes kabisa so eh. yeah ni ule pia ajali mwanzi hata ni call out uh, she will call out she will call me out on my bullshit yes and kwa ile life una, una need wasika you you need uh, especially as tuna grow na is asema je tuna grow in success mm-hmm. you, it's very easy to find yourself surrounded by yes people wase tu kila kitu unasema unasema ndio ndio eh. ah una need to msa kwambia filo hapo bullshit unajua sure. grow up yeah so uh, at least for me in my life it's uh, those two people yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, it, it, it can't get any better because these are people you hang out with every single oh, yeah. day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is so good. Mm. Now, Phil, mm. Click Click Bang mm-hmm. is out. Yeah. May premiere pale, shut up here. Yes. But yes. then now there are people who did not get to make it yeah. to the theaters, you right. know. I know you guys are going to Mombasa. Yes. <laughs> so, tumeona pale, tumeona <laughs> beli ya kitu tiz pale wa mtandao wa mtoto wa Mombasa. Mambo yenu tunapanga. Kabisa. What's going on? What's going on for? <laughs> so, the plan uh, has was was we launch it at Nairobi Cinema. Yes. Uh, it gives us the traction we need then mm-hmm. immediately launch it on on uh, on our platform. Okay. But manzi to make it so much feedback kwa sababu wanasema z tunataka kuiona on big screen we need to experience this film on big screen and and manze i know it's hard to tunishi kwa hiyo world ya simu and a lot of us will watch our films on phones and laptops but the true best way to experience a film is when you're watching it at a, at a theater because yeah. the sound is just amazing the screen so na sisi mtu yangu kitu tulisema ni tuna grow na community yetu so yes. wakisema tunafanya Kabisa. yeah so the film will be coming on IMAX okay. um, um, Mombasa mm-hmm. and uh, Junction and Garden City okay. so far uh-huh. those, those those are the ones that are looking positive it's it's usually like a process mm-hmm. uh, so we are definitely going to be giving you the dates i think either today or tomorrow yes. dates and time but tunakuja Mm-hmm. At the same time watu wetu wa online wase wengi wanaitisha links mm-hmm. pia tuna release ya tuta slow down so yes. tuta release this coming weekend uh-huh. on Saturday 23rd uh-huh. on philitv.com Eh yeah manze so una, una, wana wa appreciate na shilingi ngapi juu yani hiyo film <laughs> let me tell you guys ni nini mna appreciate yani wana wa appreciate na pale online how much pale, wajipange wa, pale online tu ni 250 shillings ah, okay. uh, and then pia unaweza cheza tu kama wewe ah. yeah um I, again hiki tu tuna grow pamoja na audience so yes. and because it has not been done before unajua kuna ati prize tunaweza sema hii ndio the best prize ya nini so yeah. so siwe ka prize hapo then wasao na kama wanatupea feedback okay. and believe it or not even with um, GLL majority of the people who paid towards the link actually paid in excess and they were like this film is worth more than what you guys are charging ah. but sisi tutayanzi hapo tuchwani yes. and then what our kenya our decide what yeah. yeah yeah mm. let me tell you guys it's worth it 100% you will love it the storyline oof the visuals are out of this world it's worth it kabisa thank Phil, you yeah. to kimalizia uh-huh. please encourage someone mm-hmm. who is in this industry that you in of filmmaking right. maybe they feel like they just want to give up because it's not making business sense for them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. please tell them something uh, trust in the process uh, 
Actually, right now we, we're in this space where there's a lot of chaos because the internet has disrupted business and how businesses used to be run. But that's a good thing. In chaos is where there are many opportunities and where companies like Philit are now finding a way to thrive in it, you know. Yeah. So, unlike when we were starting out um, in filmmaking, the only like TV, five, seven, seven TV stations, mm -hmm. bus. Kama wewe umetraini wa media, by the way, ungeandikuwa tu job na hizi TV station saba. Kama ukafanya marketing. Bas. <laughs> right now, mtu yangu uneza chukua simu yako ni wanze kushoot content. Yes. Hapo, hapo. Na after a while, yanze kumanitize. So trust in the process and don't wait to be given a big opportunity. Create the opportunity for yourself. All right, Phil. Mm -hmm. That was very insightful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Annie. I am sure if there's a filmmaker who has intentions mm -hmm. of getting to do this, they have one, two, three, four things mm -hmm. to start off with. Ah. Thank you, Phil. Thank you as Asante well. Sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante. Shukran. Right. Guys, that was Phil Karanja. Super producer, super director. Ametupea information yake enye wewe uluku na itaji kujua. Kuna kitu tumewacha? Comment down below on how you found the show and what did you learn? Thank you so much for watching Buzz with Stars. This is Miss Kithinchi. Until next time, it's goodbye. It's, 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 it's,